What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, <clears throat> but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with another video. Hope you're all doing great out there. So uh, everybody, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you're in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so that you're always up to date when I post something new. Don't forget to hit that like button. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. Did you hit the like yet? I bet you didn't. But anyway, let's jump into the email. So just a little disclaimer here. This is uh, a bit of an older email, uh, but I did want to showcase it for some reason. I, I missed it. Like I said, my, my email is an absolute mess because I, I get like freaking 27 emails a day. Not 27, probably more like 25, but a lot come in. So I missed some of them. So this is from Denadrian Smith, and, and I've brought him up several times. He's been on my channel for like two, three years at this point. So just listen to the whole thing. He goes, hey, Pete, Denadrian Smith here. I guess you heard about Para's latest cease and desist. Like I said, this is a little old. We knew this was coming, correct. DoorDash has flexed their muscles. We dashers need to stand up and flex ours. These games will stop one way or another. To show DoorDash that we're tired of their games, we need to band together and decline every order until they show the full payout. Let's not rely on a third party app. Let's show them ourselves. Yeah, I know that they can't get new drivers, but we veteran drivers can take them, can take them away from DoorDash by teaching them how DoorDash really works and how to maximize their money and keep doing it for every newbie and we could tell customers why their orders are not getting picked up quickly. This is the only way I know we can flex our muscles against DoorDash from Denadrian Smith. So Denadrian, um, I agree with you to a point, okay? Yes, the new drivers, it's gonna be almost nearly impossible to get them on board because either they're not on YouTube or social media, they're just out there working and unaware of all of these online communities and, and you know they're just taking orders as they're sent to them uh, a lot of them don't even realize you can decline them you know so with that being said to get everyone on board as you mentioned would be very difficult it really would okay i agree we should not have to use a third-party app in order to see what we are entitled to be seeing Okay, we are independent contractors. An electrician, a plumber, uh, you know, uh, any, anyone who ha works in a trade, a carpenter or something like that, they would not accept a job if they didn't know what they were being paid. So why should DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats or any of these gig economy apps be any different? Okay, I know I'm repeating stuff. I know I've said this in the past. Okay, but here's the other thing. Okay, recently, some drivers have been experiencing this, not all. So don't quote me as saying, oh, Pete paid to drive said all drivers are dealing with this. No, they're not. No, I've been getting messages. I've been reading from people, okay, on, on social media that what DoorDash has been doing now, if you decline too many orders too quickly, sometimes just three or four, a screen is popping up saying that they're pausing your dash so that for like five minutes or something so that they can give the opportunities or offers that they sent to you to other dashers, okay? Now, someone asked me, is this legal? Yeah, it is. Because DoorDash knows they cannot deactivate you for low acceptance rate. You could have 0% acceptance rate, makes no difference. They cannot deactivate you or terminate you from their service. However, what they can do is they can pause you they can just say, well, we're not sending you any offers. There's nothing There's nothing saying that because you're online, you must receive offers. Because think about it. If you're online, right, and it's a slow day, okay, and you're not really getting anything, you can't sue DoorDash or Grubhub or Uber Eats saying, I was online for four hours and I only got two offers. I'm suing them. Doesn't work that way. And you see, because you're an independent contractor, they can do that. They can withhold sending you orders. They just cannot deactivate you for rejecting too many offers. So their legal team figured out a loophole, okay? So if we do your idea, which in the past may have worked, 
doing that now, all it's going to do is drivers are going to get paused after three or four offers or, or maybe more, depending on which market it's being affected in, you know, or impacted. It, it's just going to put drivers on pause and it's going to piss people off even that much more. So I like where you were going with this, but I just don't think it's going to work, you know? So I'm just curious, everybody in the chat, everybody in the comments, do you think an Adrian's thing would work if we just all decline offers like crazy, all the low ball ones, you know, and you think it would impact DoorDash? I feel like it, it wouldn't be enough. You would need thousands and thousands and thousands of drivers to do it for them to really notice it. And I just, I can't see that happening. So those are my thoughts. What are yours guys? Put them down below in the comments. And if you guys ever want to send me anything for a video, an article, whatever, a question, email me at pay to drive stories at gmail.com, just like Dan Adrian did. Or if you would like a quicker uh, response from me, um, you can message me on the Patreon app or and sign up at patreon.com slash pay to drive. There's a link down below in the description or in the pin top comment. And uh, as a perk, I will shout you all out in new videos. I'm going to do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. And of course, we've got our $100 ultimate driver, Ari Rosenbaum. Thank you so much, Ari, for your generosity. And also for these other people with their generosity, we got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Ginny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, St uh, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco and Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. So yeah, if you want to sign up, links down below or in the pin top comment for Patreon. And also please sign up on the free gas app called Get Upside. It's a free app for your smartphone. You save money at the gas pump. Start by downloading it from the link in the bottom of the description. Go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it. And of course, if you want one of these awesome Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, you can get one over, or as many as you want, over at paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale. Lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably got it. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. All right. And if you made it to the end of this video, you know what to do. Leave a comment right now saying end 244, E-N-D 244. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always updated when I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Logs. And uh, as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.